Will she be a Wall Street watchdog or a lapdog? That's what senators should want to find out when they question Mary Jo White, President Obama's pick to head the Securities and Exchange Commission. Here's why. White made her reputation as a tough-as-nails federal prosecutor, but later, as a corporate attorney, White represented Wall Street clients, including J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and UBS. So let's put this question to Arthur Levitt, former SEC chairman himself, Bloomberg board member, and senior advisor to the Carlyle Group. Arthur, good morning to you. Good morning, Eric. So you're favorably disposed towards Mary Jo White, and to many people, her record as a prosecutor speaks for itself. But help us try to reconcile her record as the prosecutor with her record as the corporate attorney representing, among other people, uh, John Mack. Not unusual, where uh, government officials wear other hats when they leave government. Mary Jo has the qualities to make a great SEC chair. She's tough. She has a tremendous uh, card file. We'll be able to recruit the best and the brightest to the agency. The key point here is she's made her mark in government. She's made her mark in the private sector. This is probably her last job. Where is she going to go from here? She cares intensely about her reputation. It's all up as far as... But is it reasonable, Arthur, to expect that she's going to turn around and be as hard on her clients, up until recently her clients, as she has been uh, hard on the regulators while she was representing them? You might have asked me the same question. Was I, coming from the American Stock Exchange, going to be as hard on the exchange community and the brokerage community as if I had another background? Of course I was. That places the pressure on whoever has the job to be even harder. There's a more relevant issue in that she has to recuse herself from a great number of cases, as do other commissioners. So there'll be situations where uh, they'll have difficulty in having enough commissioners to come to terms on a particular deal. But if, Arthur, if the answer to those questions are, of course she's going to be tough on them, why would people raise persistent skepticism and doubts about regulatory capture, the revolving door between Washington and Wall Street, and the risks it clearly presents on paper, if not a reality? Number one, there is tremendous anger toward the banks and bankers. Two, there is frustration. Well, some of that anger is justified. Two, frustration uh, that the Justice Department and the SEC have not nailed big names, heads of banks. And the Attorney General the other day said that the banks that are too big to fail, they can't nail. So here's a question then. Had Mary Jo White been the SEC chairman instead of Mary Shapiro, what would have happened for the past four years? There's no, no predicting that. but. By personality, Mary Jo is tougher, more of a fighter, uh, more of an in-your-face kind of personality than Mary Shapiro, so that uh, you may have seen a different result. Some say that her job as SEC chairman is going to be one more of rulemaking and rule writing than it is as enforcement. So is she going to have a legitimate opportunity to demonstrate what you believe to be her toughness and commitment to prosecuting wrongdoing. Well, prosecuting wrongdoing is only one very important aspect of the Commission's work. If she has a good enforcement director, she'll do plenty of prosecuting. Congress has saddled her with the Dodd-Frank rulemaking, which is going to take up a lot of her time. But she's demonstrated an ability as an administrator, and I think just fits the job perfectly. Arthur, give us, in your opinion, Mary Jo White's number one priority if she gets confirmed? The number one priority has got to be to get Dodd-Frank off the table. Number two priority is hire a really great enforcement director. Who should that be? I have no idea. But you trust Mary Jo White to find I the do. right person? I can't think of anyone better than Mary Jo to find the right enforcement director. Arthur, thank you and great to see you. Arthur Levitt, former SEC chairman.